welcome back friends welcome back in another video tutorial for microbiology with chaknik welcome back in another video from our respiration lecture series or carbohydrate metabolism lecture series so today we will going to talk about an alternative mode by which glucose can be converted into pyruvate okay so this mode is etna to a drop pathway okay which is mostly preferred by gram negative bacteria such as pseudomonas aeruginosa azotobacter and rhizobium it was first discovered by michael duodrop and nathan etner that is why it is named as etner duodrop pathway so in this pathway glucose is converted into pyruvate using a set of enzymes that are different from glycolysis and pentose phosphate pathway we have discussed both glycolysis and pentose phosphate pathway earlier right so what happens in this pathway so we will going to learn this with the help of this picture which i have taken from this website so you can also refer this website so first of all what happened that glucose will be converted into glucose 6 phosphate obviously in presence of atp and that is the first step of glycolysis there is nothing new here right then we will going to observe the first stage of pentose phosphate pathway where we have produced 6 phosphogluconate glucose 6 phosphogluconolactone from glucose 6 phosphate in the presence of nadp plus if you remember this oxidation step is the first stage of our pentose phosphate pathway so there is nothing new until now then from that 6 phosphogluconolactone via hydrolysis we will get 6 phosphogluconate and this 6 phosphogluconate again via hydrolysis we will get 2 keto 3 deoxy 6 phosphoglucono gluconate right that is kdpg 2 keto 3 deoxy 6 phosphogluconate if you follow the structure then there will be liberation of h2 from this part and there will be liberation of water from the carbon number 3 that ultimately gives us 2 keto 3 deoxy 6 phosphogluconate try to follow that after the removal of h2 in the carbon number 2 becomes a keto group right and there is a removal of oxygen from carbon number 3 that is why the name 2 keto 3 deoxy 6 phosphogluconate okay then with the help of an enzyme that is 2 keto 3 deoxy glucose phosphate aldolase we will get two things pyruvate and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate with the help of glycolysis that involves both two atp molecule production and one nadh production and obviously there is also a liberation of water that all that all we have seen in case of our glycolysis gives us pyruvate that is how with the help of a alternative pathway we can convert glucose into pyruvate right so again first glucose is converted into glucose 6 phosphate in presence of atp then 6 phosphogluconolactone in presence of nadp plus then 6 phosphogluconate right then there will be hydrolysis and we will get 2 keto 3 deoxy 6 phosphogluconate and then from that with the help of aldolase enzyme we will get pyruvate and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and this glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate will be converted into pyruvate with the help of mdn mara parnes pathway that is our glycolysis that's how the entire thing is going on in case of our etna duodrop pathway so remember this pathway was actually followed by gram negative bacteria pseudomonas aeruginosa azotobacter rhizobium which was very very important to remember right they, they are the things you must remember for your mcq exams and that is the idea of our etna duodrop pathway so i hope this video will be helpful for you thank you